it's an imp it was an important event in the in reality, and it was an important event in the play, and and it's and it's quite different in the in the two versions. In the in the play, Peter has it that, in fact, Jack Brennan came out as chief of staff to Nixon to stop the taping in order to say to Richard Nixon, I think you're on the verge of going further than you ever meant to go, and I think you should think twice about it before you go that far. And that was Jack Brennan wanting to slow down the process, maybe stop it, or maybe not stop it, but slow down the process of, of his, his gro growing towards his mea culpa. Now, what actually happened was that, that there was suddenly Jack Brennan, who'd never been into the main room where we had the three, you know, I suppose the room was a bit bigger than this room and, and it just had three cameras in it and, and a floor manager and, and the cameraman. And he'd never been in. And he came in with a, a sign that I thought said, let us talk. So I said, all right, we've just got to change tapes or whatever. And it turned out that, in fact, Jack Brennan was carrying a card which, when he came closer, uh, in fact said, let him talk. So far from wanting to suppress Nixon's frankness, he was encouraging me to let it roll because he thought that Nixon really wanted to say something. He'd reached this point in this confrontation. We were, I suppose, two hours into this second of the two two-hour sessions. And, and so far, so actually, it doesn't really do him justice, the, the, uh, the play. I mean, it's a, it's in that particular case, so there was a completely different construction in the two. There was the pause, but in fact, in real life, he was actually encouraging me not to interrogate too much but to give him a chance to, um, to say more.